Hey guys, here's the pool pump controller that I've been working on for a while now. On the right hand side, you see the electrical control box. Down below it, the black device, is the uh, pump. Uh, the first pipe that comes into it, that's the incoming water, it goes into the pump. The pump then pushes it into the DE filter, uh, diatomaceous earth. Uh, from the filter, then it goes down to the uh, heater. Uh, if we take a closer look at the pipes on the heater, you can see there are thermometers inserted here to measure the uh, water temperature. The wires go into the uh, into the uh, small electrical box basically just for connections and those lead back to the control box and in the control box take a closer look we'll see it shows us <coughs> it's currently running in e economic mode the speed is economic basically low speed 27 degrees incoming 27 degrees outgoing temperature. Two switches, one for maintenance mode and run mode and maintenance mode. You flip that, basically turns everything off. And the other switch on the left, that is for high speed and economic setups. Auto mode, essentially. So what it does is when the heater turns on, it senses uh, as the temperature differential between the incoming and outgoing exceeds one degree, one degree centigrade, turns the pump on to high speed. So what we'll do, we'll adjust the water temperature for the heater just a little bit. Okay, we hear it turned on. Now we go here. Okay. We just flipped the motor speed. Temperature is now 29, 30 degrees on the outgoing. And once we turn the heater off, watch the temperature go down. This is the bug that I've not been able to work out. Sometimes when the high speed shuts down, it resets the controller. I'm guessing it's EMP. Okay. And the temperature delta must be less than one degree, although it's showing it's rounding up or down. Uh, so either so it'll be less than one degree and we'll see it balance out in just a moment. Yep. So basically that's what it works, how it works. It just runs this all day, all night. Solely f filtering the water on the economic mode and when the uh, water temperature drops too low. It turns on the, the heater automatically turns on. It's an analog device, um, and the controller through the thermometers uh, sees that the water temperature has increased and turns on the pump to higher speed. It does two things: makes sure a couple things. Uh, one, it makes sure that the water doesn't get too hot to melt the pipes, and two, um, if the water flow is too low. Uh, the water starts to boil in the heater, uh, which can, uh, which starts making very large popping noises, and can damage the heater. Okay, that's all.